I wrote that was actually inspired by a piece from the 2008 Biennale, uh, and it's it was an installation piece of like a bunch of spun objects, like knitted objects, and through the time of the installation, it kind of unraveled. So I started thinking about what it might be like if I could knit a Singapore of my making. Yeah, and so this piece is called um, Spinning Yarns. One day, you decide this sort of world is not for you. You sit down and knit mountains with secret caves, a valley, a rainforest from every shade of green, brown, and gray. You create whales, elephants, white tigers, and for the heck of it, some purple ones too. You knit mohawks for the conformists, Toyotas for the rebels, and then realize it doesn't really change a thing. So you continue. You stitch back broken hearts, pull out the threads of poverty, unpick the bureaucracy carefully with thimble in hand. Then you thread your needle a different color. You create housing blocks with turrets and shimmering moats, a chain of hypermarts that serve only very excited shoppers. You conceptualize compassion that can be sold in a tube and the brilliance of pride flags amidst all the dichotomy of red and white. Instead of the IR, you knit a giant field where poets spin words out of lovers holding hands who cling on to songs sung by musicians who let their guitars wail for the lack of the beautiful abstract. You undo the Singapore flyer and create a roller coaster. It runs through Shenton Way. After a while, when it all starts to fray and the world unravels, they come to seize your knitting needles and smugly remind you about the permanence of steel and concrete. Afterwards, sitting amongst the unraveled threads, you wonder if the citizens will be angry they had wool pulled over their eyes, or long for a time when their world was spun out of stories. Um, 